Um, it's a 3,000 watt hub motor. Um, they claim it has 18,000 watt peak. Now, granted it has a BAC 4000 controller, ASI BAC 4000, which is a very good controller, upwards of six, 800 bucks, um, as opposed to like the Savitons, which are maybe like two or $300. A lot of bikes have like no name brand uh, controllers. That's a very good controller. And it puts out a lot of watts, um, upwards of like 300, excuse me, a lot of amps, upwards of like 350 to 400 amps, um, which with a 3000 watt motor would maybe put it at what, like 6,000 watts? I can't imagine it could go up to 18,000 watts. I mean, and it's a hub motor. I have a uh, hub motor in my Eagle, Cab Motorworks Eagle, and um, it's a 7,000 watt hub motor as opposed to 3,000 watt, and it peaks at 10. So I'm kind of confused. I don't quite understand how we're getting 18,000 watts, but it is what it is. That's what they're saying. They're saying it has a 65 mile per hour top speed. It has full suspension, really nice suspension forks and a mono shock in the back. Um, it has hydraulic disc brakes as well as regenerative braking, which is pretty cool. It puts power back into the battery when you're braking with it. Um, it has a two passenger seat, so kind of like motorcycle style. You could definitely ride with a passenger. Uh, you could get it with pedals or pegs, which is pretty cool. I like the option. Um, what's also very interesting is it, it, it has a VIN number. Uh, other than Spark Cycle Works and their Bandit, I've never heard of a vendor offering um, VIN numbers. Perhaps there are some, I just don't know about them. So you can get it uh, registered and you can ins insure it, which is very cool. Uh, I really like that. And it has a lot of motorcycle accoutrements. You know, it's got a DOT approved uh, light, horn, blinkers. It's got a full color display. It's got a USB plug. Um, it's available in two colors. And it's just badass looking. I mean, I just love the freaking look of it. I'm really excited about it. I wish they had some video. Uh, they're just kind of teasing with, uh, you know, some pictures of it. They're saying that you can pre-order it. Um, it's comes in at $6,999, just under $7,000. So that's kind of uh, a lot. And especially for the fact that they don't even tell you what the uh, the battery is. The cavity underneath the, the, the center doesn't look huge. So to fit a 72 volt battery and a um, controller in there might be tough. Um, I'm, I'm just, and they're, they're saying it's going 65. I can't imagine they're gonna have a bike of that power with not good range. So. I gotta believe it has a 72 volt battery, but it might in fact have a 60, 60 volt people. Um, so they're really not telling you what the range is or the battery. Um, but uh, you can start ordering it October 3rd of this year and it's shipping Q1 next year. So January, February, March of 2023. So badass looking, can't wait till some video comes out. I'm gonna keep monitoring it and share it as that becomes available, okay? The next one is, um, just a sneak peek. They're not giving you a lot of information about it, but it's from a company called uh, Rumble Motors. They're the makers of the very cool Rumble Rumble Air V4, which looks like a badass motorcycle. <laughs> uh, it's got a huge center cavity, big, big, massive. I think 84 volt battery actually, um, and the V2, which looks a lot like a Super 73 kind of bike, um, but uh, you know, it's just badass. Um, I'm going to uh, include some links to those if you want to learn about those in the description. Um, so the, the Rumble Motors is coming out with the Apex and they're just teasing a little bit of information on social media. You can't find a lot about it. Um, it has uh, dual hub motors of 1,000 of watts, 1,000 in the front, 1,000 in the back, which obviously makes it compete with the Aerial Rider Grizzly, very similar. And also like the Grizzly, it has two 52 volt batteries. They're 20 amp hours, so that's 40 amp hours. 